Good morning, everyone. Uncle Wooly here for part two of Final Fantasy 16. Good morning. Hopefully you're doing well. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Hopefully you got through the week well. Uh, definitely ready for the weekend. Hopefully you're enjoying scary season and uh, enjoying maybe some uh, scary movies, um, some scary games and the like. Uh, for those keeping up with me over on Twitch, uh, we are streaming uh, currently Resident Evil uh, 4 Remake and Silent Hill 3. Both of those are first playthroughs for me. And I will be sharing um, the recordings of those over here on YouTube. So if you miss out on those, uh, no worries. They'll be up here. Uh, otherwise, if you want to catch a live stream over on Twitch, uh, just twitch.tv slash Uncle Wooly. And here's all of my socials if you want to catch up with me. Um, on those streams, outside of streams, uh, you name it, we have a Discord as well. Uh, if you're liking what's uh, happening here on this channel over on YouTube, uh, definitely feel free to drop a like and uh, and subscribe so you don't miss out on future live streams or uh, or future videos. So good to see you all. Happy Friday. Welcome on in, and we're gonna get started here with some Final Fantasy 16 this morning. I'll just give you a little bit more puppy cam before we get going here. Uh, we actually have all three dogs in the stream room today, and if you're unfamiliar with them, uh, Roxy is the Jack Russell in front. She's uh, 14 years old. Uh, the Shih Tzu just behind her is Lucy. Uh, she's five. And our newest addition, Charlie, in the little cloud back there, uh, Charlie's a seven-year-old Pomeranian mix. And all of them are just infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So honestly, people hang out for them. Uh, my mediocre gameplay and terrible puns are really just side content. <laughs> but welcome in, everybody. Good to see you all. Hopefully you're having a good cozy Friday. And let's hop on over to some gameplay here. And we didn't get a title screen when we started last week. So it is nice to see finally a title screen and getting a bit of that prelude music that just warms my soul to no end. And I'm gonna change the audio just a bit. If uh, it needs boosted, quieted, anything along the way, please let me know. I do want to make sure it's uh, audible for you. And we do have captions for those uh, that do have uh, hearing impairments. So we're going to hop back in. We, uh, we left off at uh, the big fight between Phoenix and Ifrit. Um, and I think, you know, this is speculation on my part since I haven't played the game yet. Um, but I'm really thinking that Clive uh, is the, uh, what do they call it, the familiar? Uh, for Ifrit, so we're gonna we're gonna see what's happening here between uh, Joshua and this this unknown. Okay, so we're not too far back. We do have to probably do this battle over again, which is fine. Damn it all. sure stream is on the up and up before we get going too far this is my second stream on youtube so i'm still kind of getting used to things so yeah so if you do uh have any constructive feedback uh, definitely feel free to let me know too <laughs> escape as you command gonna have to get used to these controls again you take care of that spell caster I'll keep the others occupied okay. L1 is lock on where is it and then my dash is down Dodges are one. Alright. Let's take a peek at the controls here. <laughs> this is going to be a thing every week, I guarantee it. Uh, let's see here. Melee. Iconic feet is circle. 
lock on, evade, cycle icons, okay. Or, oh, it's a uh, perfect dodge is what we get. There we go. That's them done. Now we have to fight this dragoon right? again. Yeah, I'm fine. Which I am a bit it's rusty. My father and Joshua, I'm worried about. We should head back. Hey, look out! Oh, there we go. May I have this dance? He's an Imperial Dragoon. And you are the shield who was blessed by the Phoenix. Not that it will save you! Rosarian Worm! Oh yeah, we're not gonna beat him doing that. Yeah, we're getting a little too uh, hungry. Okay, use square just as an opponent attacks to parry strike. Okay. So we can parry. Stay still, damn you! Oh, missed that one. Your time is past. There we go. damage there. Where we start to get double jump, I think, in the second phase. He's open. Now, Clive, have at it. You're going to regret that, boy. Jump. And there we go. Double jump is so easy to dodge. Watch me get hit by it next time I <laughs> next time I have to dodge it. There we go. 
We're gonna get pretty close here. the ability finish. <laughs> Chub Clive. Good job, Clive. Yeah, we got him first try again. That's good. Are you hurt? I'm fine. So, they sent in the Dragoons, Imperial Vipers. Do they really mean to invade us? Yeah, they do. Not yet. Their numbers were too few. They were not here to take the castle. They were here to take heads. Yeah, the assassination crew. Our work is done. We should return to my father. My lord, look. We issued these sashes but yesterday. In Rosalith. If they were already among us, what if there were others? Father and Joshua are in danger. We must hurry. Take your steed. Oh no, we have to watch this one again. <laughs> this is a really rough cutscene. What is that? Is everyone safe? For the moment. We ride for Rosalith to rally our forces. I will need your help to see Joshua safely back to the capital. On you get Joshua. Hmm? Father? The scene doesn't I'm get sorry, any your easy. grace, but that won't be possible. The owl too. You are on the snakes. Stay back! I'm warning you. Run, Joshua! Run! No! Oh, fuck. 
control. I have to do something. I have to save him. No, my lord. Fall back. Climb. The best choker bro ever. Listen to Clive. He's got the right idea here, dude. Joshua, are you in pain? Ah! Uh, not now. Come on! You're his shield. Do your duty. This is where we left off at the end of last stream. This is so epic. Embodying the Phoenix. The following commands are available when playing as the Phoenix. Fire, aim, evade. When your opponent is directly within your sights, the targeting circle will expand. Uh, this is the right time to fire. Okay. We actually have to aim. That's a, a thing, huh, Joshua? That the first time you uh, <laughs> see this thing, you just automatically assume it's an enemy. Oh, yeah. So last stream, we talked about this a little bit, and I missed a, a chat message, um, but our good friend Mattis Dog pointed out uh, this is very reminiscent, this falling piece, uh, very reminiscent of the uh, Balrog uh, battle scene with uh, Gandalf in uh, Lord of the Rings. And I very much agree with Also, kind of destroying it too.
this is so dang cool. I, uh, you know, was skeptical with a new title uh, in the Final Fantasy series to get a collector's edition, but this would have been a good one to get. Because that uh, Ifrit Phoenix battle statue is just amazing. Whoever are the artists that worked on that. And hands down, some very, very great work. Uh, when you got them in your sights, those ones are the homing uh, attacks. So that's nice. Stop keeping up with him. Oh, there he is. I like how steadfast uh, Joshua is. For being such a young boy, he is fighting with such conviction. Almost did a hitless. <laughs> uh, mutually assured destruction, I think. Oh, sweet. I love the uh, the victory chant there too. Um, it really m reminds me of when I went to uh, Distant Worlds, and they played the uh, victory fanfare, and they also did that at the uh, um, Final Fantasy VII uh, remake uh, concert as well. Okay, bear with me a second. It shows I'm disconnected from my chat. I'm not sure what's going on there. So let me see if I can maybe troubleshoot this a little bit. Nothing like some tech issues on a Friday. Of course, it's Friday the 13th, and I decided to go live on Friday the 13th of all days, right? That would definitely uh, make a difference, I think. Hello, everybody. I think we're back with things. Uh, sorry about that. Some major, major internet issues, and that's what I get for trying to uh, do a live stream on Friday the 13th. You know, things have always got to just uh, <laughs> have a bit of an issue. So welcome on back, everybody. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for chilling. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, we'll hop right back into the gameplay here. Uh, we just left off. Uh, Joshua did uh, overcome the battle against the other icon, and now we're going to find out uh, find out what happens next.
is awesome. sibling rivalry right there. Welcome back, Strufty, or, or welcome in, if if you were here earlier. Uh, had some major tech issues. Uh, it's just streaming on Friday the 13th, right? So I'm terrible and still haven't played this, but love you and lurking. Thanks, dude. And I think I do have a lurk command working now, if you ever want to use it. Um, that should be working, I think. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I appreciate that, dude. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Wish Daisy all my best. Hopefully things go smoothly at daycare today. Always good to see you, dude. And uh, hopefully uh, things are going well uh, with watching uh, your parents' puppy as well. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. That's it, Joshua. Fight fire with fire. Oh, my lord. This game is brutal. This has a lot going on that I just did not expect. Quite a mess that monster made. Damn shame about the Phoenix, but can't be helped. Oh, my condolences, Your Grace. Is there aught we can do? <laughs> Haven't you done enough, Captain? Oof. Yep. Joshua was my world. I had bad feelings about her from the jump, and uh, rightfully so. Yeah. So can we? Uh, so we're at the Phoenix Gate, a walled keep situated near Rosaria's northwestern border. It was originally constructed to serve as an outpost in the wars against the Northern Territories. But its true significance lies deep within the ruins atop which the stronghold stands. Here in an ancient chamber, accessible only to the dominant of fire, is held the rite of ancestral communion, an important ritual in which it is believed that the phoenix can hear the words of the duchy's forebears. Uh, we've already read about the duchy. Imperial Army, the assembled forces of the Holy Empire of Sambrek. 
while officially under the command of the cardinals, it is Holy Emperor uh, Sylvester or Silvestri uh, Lesage, whom the legions truly serve. On the battlefield, the dragoons' peerless lancers, renowned throughout the realm, are the empire's keenest weapon, descending from the skies to sow terror and disarray among their hapless foes. I think we read about Annabelle before. Uh, Mother Clive and Joshua, not only her beauty, but her connection to a bloodline that preceded or produced many, uh, I was going to say preceded, but produced many previous dominants of the Phoenix, led her to being a proposed as a bride for the young Archduke. Yep, we've read that one before. And now he is gone. I can only pray there will be a place for me in the world his radiance seeks to create. I see. Oh no. Your Grace, over here. Oh, unless these are, you know, unless these are the actual soldiers, you know, from our side. And that they were just killing, uh, you know, some of the invaders. That's possible, too. But I'm I'm of the like of thinking she's betrayed. The rubble must have protected him from the worst of the flames. Shall we take him prisoner? No need yep. for that. Kill him. Okay. My, my feelings were correct about her. Wait. As my husband never tired of telling me, he is a fine soldier. I'm sure he would make an excellent addition to the Imperial front line. Oh, man. She is just evil. All in its right place. Just evil. Oh. Take this one. <laughs> Chin up, lad. You're going to be a soldier. Joshua. So now we're treated to the uh, the title sequence. That's uh, one strong opening for a game. A very, very strong opening for a game. Thirteen years later. Year of the Realm, 873. The Nysa Defile. Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. And it's as you thought. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Then we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Beast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. <laughs> After you do, that is. I won't be dying. Not today. Then like that settled. attitude, quite. No dying. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. I'm curious if this is the uh, Empire uh, soldiers or if these are on. Uh, the Dutch East side and uh, kind of where we're at with this. They seem adversarial. Um, but, you know, that could just be b banter between soldiers. So I'm interested to see what what happens here. New iconic abilities. Uh, Scarlet Cyclone and Heat Wave for the Phoenix are now available for acquisition. 
and upgrade on the Abilities tab in the main menu. Do not forget that once acquired, new abilities must be equipped on the Gear and Icons tab. Claiming redeemable items. Additional content is now available for redemption. Okay. How do they expect us to kill something? So let's move our ability, or is it gear and icons? So we have Phoenix Shift. It's a Rising Flame, Scarlet Cyclone. Ooh, sweet. Kind of like that move. Lunge is nice as well. Oh, don't have enough points. We need 500 for that. Charged magic. I kind of would like that. Yeah. And we can master it for 250. That might be worth doing. Taunt is not something I'm really too interested in. No, let's do the lunge. Let's just uh, build out our moveset uh, and then start mastering stuff. Oh, that's pretty nice. So I'm guessing Heat Wave is going to have to be over here. Aha. It's not as strong as the other one. True. Excuse me. So I think we're going to keep Rising Flames for now. They don't. <clears throat> Only the girl holding its leash. Do I crouch again? Or does it matter here? Oh, so we're just known as Wyvern. I mean, we can pretty much tell this is Clive, but we'll uh, suspend disbelief here. army and their dominant will fare any better oh that is sweet man the reflections on that ice are just uh, it almost looked liquid at first that is cool by the flames holy cow yeah they made a mess of things all right having trouble with the uh, oh there's some damage. I'm having trouble not doing the total just JRPG look for you know every every nook and cranny for something I'm having trouble resisting that urge here because it's just so cinematic that it's you know, that? nice to look at Down everything there. too So, Titan has knocked the fight out of our iron blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. Oh no. Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her. The dominant. Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom. They teach that dominance are unclean aberrations, born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. Shrink Scott! Adion 
Oh no, they've taken children. Please. Oh my lord. Jada! Is this uh the girl from the beginning that uh, was holding Torgal? I think it is. What alvation now, King? Hey, Jay. Welcome in, dude. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Good to see you. Yeah, I had some uh, definite <laughs> technical difficulties today, but I'm going to chalk it up to being uh, Friday the 13th. Uh, my network just completely dropped, so I'm glad uh, people are able to find their way here. Welcome in, dude. How are you doing this fine morning? These guys are brutal. Avis, care to kill some iron blood? Gladly. Wait, you focus on the target. Understood. Oh, I've been how to dodge already. I'm trying to uh, dodge like I'm playing a Souls game. Oh man, she is tough. Ready for the weekend, dude? I hear ya. <laughs> it has been one of those weeks. I don't know what it is, but uh, it's been a tough week. You know, last week you said you had some concerts. You went to Jonas Brothers earlier this week. Uh, did you have any other concerts this week, or are they upcoming? Dagger, there we go. I think she uh, needs to be fully primed to take us down. Just saying. I <laughs> uh, got need to breathe tomorrow night, too. You're going to have a good time. Hopefully you don't have to travel too far for that. But if so, hopefully, you know, you got a place to stay or a hotel or something. That, you know, you can really enjoy the trip. It's kind of tough when, you know, you go to a show and then have to uh, drive a good distance to get home that night. Oh, 
on Wyvern. Play like you actually want to uh, win the battle. Dagger here soon. There we go. Hey, go welcome in, dude. One tomorrow's in my city. Nice, dude. That's excellent. That's great when you can go to a home show, you know? Cheers, cheers. Hey, Gol, um, I caught up on your VOD this morning. I may have fallen asleep while watching your stream last night. That is uh, in no way a commentary on your content. It was just a really tired uh, evening for me. So <laughs> I did fall asleep, but I did uh, catch the rest of your attempts on um, Lady Maria on Bloodborne. Uh, I think you'll get it next time. You'll you'll get it. You were uh, you were getting pretty close there. Thanks for the GGs. I appreciate that. she dead? I don't think so. Well, what are you waiting for? Um, I know her. Oh no. It is her. No, no, that's not you. Not here. No, Clive. Clive. Dang. Fuck. This game is a trip. <laughs> We've got company, Wyvern. Get your ass over here and help me with these bastards! Sorry, Jill. Oh, Jill. <laughs> so I'm wondering if that was the last time he had seen her. Is when they were uh, out looking at the moon there. What is wrong with you, Wyvern? Dominant. I know her. Know her? Look around you! Do you think this is animal care? I need you here! Oh, that was sweet. Oh boy. That's it. There we go. Um, if, uh, that was the last time, uh, Clive had seen Jill was on that That's rooftop. Enough. You don't have to answer that. I'm guessing it was, judging by, uh, his flashback there. Now that that's done, I won't ask you again, Wyvern. Take her head so we can be done with this. Nope. Not gonna do that. I can't. I won't. You would 
Betray the Holy Empire? Yeah. Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just yes. fight to survive. Let's go, Clive. I don't. The Tiamat, nice naming. Turn into bandage. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. I told you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today, and neither is she. Let's find out. <laughs> Land 15 shift strikes or shift shots combined. Oh, nice. I don't think that's a spoiler. Yeah. So did I guess right then on that? I mean, it seems pretty likely, but... Uh... There we go. Stagger. I've always oh, come had on. a name, and I've not forgotten it. Still clinging to the past like a torn blanket. Then you will die, as you should have 13 years ago. Uh, nope. As I said, I'm not dying today. Dagger on that uh, ice shot is rough. Take your head. Not this time. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. <laughs> Can't be a traitor if I never pledged allegiance. Or I pledged allegiance, but not loyalty. Yeah. Okay, so what is Vyrate? To most, this nondescript lump of rough-hewn stone is but a nuisance upon which to stub one's toe. To the blacksmith, however, it is much, much more. For the metal contained within may be fashioned into inexpensive yet durable gear favored by warriors across the realm. Just as drops of molten iron fall from a smith's oven to the floor to cool, so too do they fall from celestial foundry where the gods forge their divine instruments of war. Or so it is believed, 
We call these otherworldly outcastings meteorites. I love that description. That is amazing. Get out of there, Clive. I'm guessing uh, Ifrit is going to make an appearance here. That is shocking. <laughs> I did not expect that. Pun semi-intended. Sir, this way. Sid. Sid, yes. Bloody wind. Well, come on then. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Something tells me this isn't uh, all the best thing at all. I'm just soaking this game up. It is amazing. Hugo dear, my proud desert lion. Would that you had taken care when chasing the hare? I expected more from the mighty Titan. You put the Ice Queen on her back, no doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this prize. My lady, the thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. Jeez. Gather the men. We have work to do. Some foul words. Jill. Is it really you? Ben Starr does an amazing job with Clive's voice. No. And who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine who hound who saved your life. That's who. Toggle. Hey. His name is Toggle. You two acquainted. Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. <laughs> Funny. I'd always pictured you as more the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. I'm sorry, but that exactly wasn't the biggest reveal. <laughs> Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumors that you'd survived. But I never paid them much heed. <laughs> A 
Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, <laughs> on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. None the worse for wear. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up. Not a last step. I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not when we've a warm bed waiting. It's all right. <laughs> Welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? I'd say so far, Sid rules uh, pretty hard. Uh, Sid, and that's just uh, early soon, going. None will have our heads. <laughs> I agree with you, Hegel. I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. Come on. Come on, Torgal. <sighs> yes, best boy. Give me gameplay so I can pet Torgal. Uh, that's what we're here for. Iconic battles, you know, they're all right. But petting Torgal, that's content. All right, so this is where we started, I believe. The hideaway. Central Storm Deadlands, the withered remnants of a once verdant valley long consumed by the blight. One would have to be either extremely foolish or extremely desperate, or an extremely desperate fool to make this wasteland their home. Um, yes to both. Hey. <laughs> The Deathlands. Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight suck this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. <laughs> Nobody to come knocking. To look. Yep. Sweet home. A lot of cutscenes in this one. Not a bad thing, though. They're uh, pretty good quality. The Hideaway. Central Storm. Oh, a Moogle. This place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nouth. <laughs> Unless we're starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. You're back. Ah. Are you? And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping. Yep. Long, long cut scenes. All right. Sid's hideaway, refuge hidden in the blighted lands of Central Storm, from which Sid operates his secretive community of freed bearers. While survival in the Deadlands is widely considered impossible, combination of near indestructible fallen ruins and considerable ingenuity have led to the establishment of a safe haven where those who rally to their leader's cause are only just about able to eke out an Albe meager existence. Xidolphus Telemoth. 
cornered by a battalion of Iron Kingdom Crusaders in the depths of the Nysa Def Defil, or Defile, uh, Clive thought his end was nigh until Sid appeared and spirited him and Jill away to his secret hideaway in the Deadlands. Gets, or goats, however you want to pronounce it there, one of Sid's trusted allies, a gentle giant who has a warm word for everyone. Dominant of Shiva and Clive's childhood friend, in the depths of the Nysa Defile, the two came to blows at the orders of the armies that enslaved them, Jill fighting to defend the priest of the Iron Kingdom, Clive obeying the Empire's orders to take the head of Shiva's dominant. Exhausted from her tilt with Titan, Jill came close to falling to her assassin's blades, but was spared at the last moment when Clive's memories of their time together came flooding back. ancient yet highly advanced civilization whose relics uh, can be found across the length and breadth of Valisea. Uh, the material from which uh, these relics are constructed is far sturdier than steel. It cannot be worked by modern methods, so the people of the modern day have elected to build inside and around them instead. Okay. And we learned uh, about the Deadlands, yeah. Goots, get her upstairs. Goots. Well, none will... Don't fret about Karen. <laughs> I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. Go. Have a look around. I'll bring my soul. Man. The graphics are just getting phenomenal in modern games. They are just so good. Talk to people. You reckon he's a soldier then? Be surprised if he wasn't. The smell of war is thick about him. A oh, nice tavern. If you can read, don't let Otto know. We'll put you to work on the ledgers too. <laughs> nice. When lightning struck, his yoke did break, his life his own again. With thunder's roll, he knew his fate and would fight, fight it to the end. Nice. Well, what do you think? I woke this morn inspired. Good work, Spoony Bard. When lightning struck, his yoke did break, his life his own again. With thunder's roll, he knew his fate and would fight it through. Careful, you. I've spent the whole morning on these steps. I'm sorry. Sorry, I used the steps for their, you know entreated purpose which is you know to walk on <laughs> all right yeah let's just uh follow the lead of sit here oh yeah we got taria resident uh sysicker that's an interesting term of uh, Sid's hideaway. Tarya is an expert in all manner of medicines and uh, medical interventions Skills that are indispensable in their Deadland home, where they cannot call on healing magics. After Sid brings an unconscious Jill back to the hideaway from his expedition to the Nysa Defile, she is placed into Taria's care. Yeah, how dare you? Use steps for their intended purpose. By, by golly, by golly, by whatever. <laughs> how dare I? Just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. <laughs> All right. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the San Brequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the dominant's throat in the chaos. 
I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills, conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. <laughs> yep. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. Yeah, what's in the cup? A lot of it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? <laughs> All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. <laughs> yeah, I'm digging Sid in this one for sure. And it's also why we need help from branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? What say you? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil twin. Oh, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. <laughs> One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominant of fire. Hmm. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? Let's definitely do that. This doesn't mean I'm joining you. <laughs> I like Clive's reluctance, but uh Best mate ready then. Sid's definitely winning him over. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall. As well as a few things you don't. Have fun. <laughs> as well as a few things you don't. Fire aspected icon that first emerged in the year of the realm 860 when Imperial forces attacked the Rosarian stronghold of Phoenix Gate. Clad in infernal flame, the fiendish creature flung itself against the Phoenix, overpowering the icon with a strength and ferocity never seen before or since. He, he's in Go towards it. Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Oh, oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. <laughs> A blacksmith? To the forge it is then. Oh, wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. 
Black Thorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. <laughs> Or at least Blackthorn. What if I am? I'm no time for idle chatter. I'm not He's as friendly as the blacksmiths in the Souls games. Because <laughs> uh, I know, like, was it Ed, Blacksmith Ed in Demon Souls? Very unfriendly. Um, also, a lot of them are just kind of like, you know, I'll forge the weapon, then be gone with you. <laughs> to talk. I'll be accompanying Sir to Lostwing, and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Continental rum. A, a noisome spirit better suited to stripping oil from a painter's canvas than consumption. Grants overworked conscripts a few rare moments of sweet oblivion on their long, arduous sea journeys north from the continent. And the item descriptions are top tier in this. Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, goots. <laughs> all right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather <laughs> see their bearers dead than then kid it out properly. I'll do what I can. As a favor to Goot's mind. I doubt that lot could withstand a Moogle's fart. What a line. Crafting a new gear as well as the upgrading of existing gear can be done at the blacksmith. As long as you have the recipe and the proper materials, select a highlighted item from the list and hold X to craft or upgrade. Nice. And the belt sees a square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. A uh, word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. <laughs> When something has changed in the hideaway, a notice will appear in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Uh, in addition to stock updates for Karen's Toll and new forging recipes for the Black Hammer, also notices for new quests, new missives, and many other things. Uh, indicator icon will also appear in the game as well as the local map. Cool. I suppose I should think good. Well, what's saying for you, dear? Oh, I need uh, more wire right, and I can upgrade my broadsword. Anything else? Cool. Thank you, Goose. It worked. You have my thanks. I, uh, uh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Nearly there. Who's breathing like yeah. that? Blankets, quick as you like. <laughs> Maybe this guy that's limping. All right, we make it comfortable while the bed's made up. <laughs> well, you're just gonna stand there. Someone face some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if I don't needs out, eh? Yeah. Wait, me? I'm guessing out is their slang for anything. What the hell have I got myself into? <sighs> Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? Same. <laughs> Shit, at this rate, you won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? 
We need Tyre. Well, go on. Shift your ass. <laughs> yeah, they were right to call him a curmudgeon. Was Tyre the one looking after Jill? Yeah, people are nice and friendly here. Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? Uh, he did. <laughs> I did say so. <laughs> but I did say so. I have a feeling this game is going to open up quite a bit um, once uh, we get to a certain. He's going bit. to be all right, but I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. But while they're introducing characters, it it feels like it's going to be a while. A fine day at the hideaway. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Do you know? And Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. <laughs> oh. And thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today. And we won't forget it. Well, at least he, uh, you know, turned a little bit nicer there. Keep an eye out for green icon above the heads of certain NPCs. They indicate they have a quest to offer. A list of current and completed quests can be viewed on the journal tab. To-do list. Very cool. Up to three side quests can be... Oh, that's neat. And you can set priorities. I like that. Following hideaway facilities are also now available. The Thousand Tomes, an ever-growing compendium, all things Galicea, and the Orchestrion. Uh, personal jukebox, yes. Both are located in the hideaway's eatery, the Fat Chocobo, and can be found on the local map by pressing OK. Who are these people? I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well, Clive, <laughs> I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless hey, Jess, welcome again. in. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you going to buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? <laughs> Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. <laughs> Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Good to see you, Jess. Both consumable items and gear can be purchased at shops around Valisea. Uh Shop stock changes at the, as the story progresses, so be sure to check frequently. Don't we already have a broadsword? Oh, no, we don't. Um, let's do that. It better all be here. Uh, what else you got? Iron bracers? Not enough gill, right? Yeah. So, of course, they give you enough gill to do one thing. That's all. Wimpy. Why, you're Good morning. A guilty, Good morning. 
Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Good to see you. You're taking his side now. <laughs> and after all I've done for you. Oh. All right. <laughs> all right, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. <laughs> Thank you. I like this lady. Thank me. Thank you, dog. <laughs> yep. Puppies are the best. It's my fantasy it's finally Friday. That's it's also my fantasy that it's Final Fantasy Friday, Wimpy. The Arit Stone is now accessible. Uh, this customizable virtual battlescape provides Clive a safe location to test out new abilities and train against all manner of enemies. Additional options will become available as Clive progresses throughout the story. Oh cool. Sweet. Oh, I guess it needs us to do this, huh? The Hall of Virtue is a fully customizable battlescape. Okay. We read that already. Cool. This, uh... Oh, this is cool. It sounds like uh, very, very close to the uh, battle music of Final Fantasy VIII. Feels very inspired by that. out of this at any time I take it. Yeah. Home homecoming this week and the kids were extra bonkers, dude. I feel that. Uh, it was homecoming at the, uh, at the college last week. And I worked most of the weekend, so I'm excited to finally have a weekend off. Gonna gonna enjoy gonna have some uh, some scary movie marathon this weekend. Uh, it's gonna be a good time. And uh, happy uh, Friday the 13th, and even during October, to anybody who's uh, into that type of thing. <laughs> they need an unprep rally, indeed, or unpep rally, rather. Um, on the cliffhanger, I was out earlier, uh, and Jess, uh, I had some internet issues, too. So all of that might not be up. I'm going to have to upload um, an edit. So in case you missed it there, um, I'm going to have to upload and edit. But I was recording at least uh, major internet issues this morning. Of course, that's what happens when I try to uh, stream on Friday the 13th. Potential game ideas for next weekend. Um, you know, that's a good question, Wimpy. I would say, you know, if there's anything you need uh, help with or that's like, you know, co-op or uh, maybe, you know, just kind of... Uh, something that we could speed run or you know we'll, we'll put the thinking cap on mm. leaving already are ya <laughs> it's you I'll miss the most lady Karen it always is don't stop you going does it <laughs> this should be fun right oh Torgal Good boy. Mm -hmm. 
Use the world map to instantly travel to previously unlocked locations. New locations are unlocked by progressing through the main story or discovering waymarks known as obelisks. Uh, the world map will open automatically upon leaving an area, but can also be accessed at any time via the main menu. Cool. We got a pet Torgal. Let me pet Torgal. Let me pet Torgal. Game. Okay. This game so far, I'm sorry, not letting me pet the dog. This is seriously some 0 out of 10 gameplay here. I joke. This game's been amazing, but let me pet the darn dog already. <laughs> There's a good girl. Hungry, are you? Big list of potential uh, five to ten hour games, but I don't know if you have uh, a thought. Oh, uh, not really at this moment, but you know, one might strike me over the weekend, Wemby. The Great Wood. So deep and vast is the Great Wood. It serves as a defensive barrier between the Crystal Belt and the Holy Empire. While its denizens deter foolhardily travelers from exploring the forest everlasting night. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. The Holy Empire of Sandbreak. Bastard blood flies everywhere. I told you we should have taken the Crystal Road. That's what I'm going to call mosquitoes from now on. <laughs> blood flies. I told you we're <laughs> outlaws. You want every bounty hunter in Storm hurrying us from here to the Holy Capital. Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? You know, the Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. But a place like this still exists as a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. We'll be back in Imperial land soon. You all right? Never better. Sounds like it. <laughs> yeah, good boy. <laughs> that there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Torgo. <laughs> now, we don't want to be That's fair, one the forest after nightfall. I suppose not. But it's a state. Wouldn't it be a state bird and not a national bird for a state? I don't know how that works. <laughs> a hero's best friend. Torgal has joined the party and will fight alongside Clive. Use left direction to toggle between item shortcuts and pet commands. The following three commands are available. Sick, heal, and ravage. Okay. Accessory known as Ring of Timely Assistance removes the need for giving Torgal commands. When this is equipped, Torgal will attack and heal automatically based on the current battle situation. Cool. Did I mention there'd be deadly beasts? They'll be deadly beasts. Nothing a trained assassin <laughs> can't handle long. Oh, really That's fair, me. Wimpy. That's fair. You're welcome <laughs> for that and the shortcut. And I did look into changing the captions to be more native, but it looks like the um, the caption plugin I use uh, only delivers native captions to Twitch. So for the time being, we'll uh, we'll still be on uh, normal latency instead of low latency on on YouTube streaming, just to make sure we have that accessibility for our our hearing impaired friends, or for those that prefer captions. Maybe they're friendly like Toggle, or maybe they're not. Keep your distance, boy. Nice. <laughs> Oh. Uh, punish ten enemies. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> Yeah. 
That's enough. We still have a way to go. Uh, did I miss anything back here? Nope. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll blame autocorrect on that one. Maybe. <laughs> oh, sweet. What in good Grieger's name is he doing this far south? Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of Storm to fall to the Blight. Well, sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. <laughs> okay, now that he's in the party, can I pet? Let's try and stay Orgle? out of its path. Yes. <laughs> Good boy. All right, gameplay ten out of ten. It's it's redeemed itself. Fetch. Okay, this game is best game ever now. <laughs> what a good boy. Yeah. That did look like a Dodongo, didn't it? Let's see where the cavern is. Oh, boy. Remember when I said there were deadly beasts? Well, the shrubs in these parts are much better. Any only thing to mention this now. There's already. Oh, I was using potions. Oh, uh, so what I need to do then? Devil. Stay Let's see if I can toggle it to where it remembers uh, the dog mode or the item mode in between battles. Because that would stink to get to the next battle and start accidentally using potions like I just did. And totally redeems itself, right? Stupid game doing awesome things. What are you thinking? <laughs> How dare you? Well, that's the underground sorted. I'll take it from here. Stupid awesome game. That they do, Wimpy. The ruins. They're everywhere, aren't they? Some say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. <laughs> There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Come on. <laughs> yeah, Sid is cool. Yeah, I'm just curious on... Uh, let me take a look at the controls here. I have a Kate Sith charm. For the front foot of the mythical or Ketchi. It They did say Kate Sith for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, though. Official Square Enix pronunciation. Cat with a pelt of spun gold, uh, whose claws rake in treasure from the very earth. The legend likely has its origins in apocryphal tales of the common Valisthian coral, 
uh, what with the rich golden gloss of the creature's coat and its distinctive habit of pawing at the ground before striking its prey. Taking up this ancient hooked longsword in one's hands invokes strange yet familiar images of four nameless warriors uh, who embark on a perilous journey to save their realm. Okay. Onion sword. Radiant blade of gold and turquoise in one's hands invokes strange yet familiar images of four homespun youths on a journey to quench the coming darkness. So that's definitely Final Fantasy III. And Braveheart, I'm not sure if that's a reference to one. Uh, I'm guessing it's a reference to Final Fantasy I. Um, okay, I'm just seeing if there's a way I can change the Ooh, speaker names I would like to turn on. Uh, and we'll up the subtitle size for our uh, hearing impaired friends. Um, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, that's too bad you can't uh, change that. Bonjour. Because that uh, having to toggle to uh, torgle stuff each time is, a, is a, something I'll have to get used to. I'm going to save real quick just in case we get to uh, a spot here. Oh, I love, I can't get over these sprites that they use in the save files. It's so cool. Oh, it remembered it that time. Forgetting about the Phoenix shift. Forgot to look at the dragon talon. Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. Okay, we're gonna take a peek at that dragon talon, and then we're probably gonna have to end stream. Unfortunately, I do have some things I got to be on time for today. So, uh, upon close inspection of a lesser dragon's foot, one may observe that the middle talon is considerably longer than the rest. This extended appendage is used to puncture the fleshy parts of the creature's prey, causing severe blood loss and weakening them for the kill. Cool. Go ahead and drop ourselves another save here. And we'll just overwrite that one. That's fine. Yeah, I want to thank everybody for joining this morning. Uh, apologies on the technical issues that we had early on. Apparently streaming on Friday the 13th is, uh, you know, 
something that uh, one should take into caution. Hopefully you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and happy Final Fantasy Friday. We'll see you uh, back next week, of course, uh, with more Final Fantasy 16 and hopefully uh, get a little bit further into uh, Clive's journey with Sid and Torgal and all, all the pups. And of course, we got to show a little bit of puppy cam here this morning. Roxy's uh, excited to see you, buddy. Aren't you? Aren't you, girl? <laughs> but Charlie and Lucy just can't be bothered. Hegel, Wimpy, um, Jess, AJ, Strufty, good to see you all this morning. If I missed anybody, uh, my apologies there. Also, uh, if you like any of the content this morning, feel free to drop a like. Uh, consider subscribing so you don't miss another live stream or any additional uploads here on YouTube. And I also do stream on Monday and Wednesday on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash Uncle Wooly. And uh, you can find me on all these socials as my Twitch link. Uh, YouTube, of course, here, um, Discord, any of that stuff if you want to keep up with us uh, off stream. And normally we raid out, but, uh, you know, that's not something that's uh, available over here on YouTube. Uh, some awesome creators are live over on Twitch, including uh, Wobble Pop TV, who's playing some Rumble Roses. Uh, also, let's see here. Uh, Librolonix or Libs is playing some Dark Souls Remastered, doing some boss randomizer. Uh, so please uh, head over there and uh, give some folks some support. And we'll see you next week, bright and early at 5 a.m. on Final Fantasy Fridays. And of course, uh, Monday night on Twitch, we'll be playing some more Resident Evil 4 Remake. With that, my friends, take care of yourselves. Stay hydrated. Uh, don't be late for work because you played too much Final Fantasy 16. Um, take care of each other. A little kindness goes a long, long way. And big cheers. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Thanks for joining. <laughs>